All right, this is Unit 5, Cycle 1, Aquatic 3, Graphing Quadratic Transformations. Our learning target for this lesson is I can identify the quadratic parent function and transformations. Go ahead and pause the video so you can write that down. So a transformation is something that changes from the quadratic parent function. Let's start with our warm-up. Let's remember. So it says evaluate the function for the given domain and range of using the equation. So what this is saying is they're going to give us a value and we have to plug it in somewhere. Um, here, it says find f of 2. Well, that is actually the x, right? x normally goes in f of x. So we're going to replace that in the equation here, here. That's it. So you can do this by hand if you wish, or you can do it in the calculator. So to do it in the calculator, you add a calculator page. You get 2 times 2 squared plus 3, 2 plus 6. So this one is 20. We're going to do the same thing with the next one. It finds f of 6. So again, that means we're going to replace our x value with 6. So 2 times 6 squared plus 3, 6, plus 6. Make sure you're closing those parentheses. That one is 96. Fantastic. It's our last one. If you're doing it by hand, remember that a negative squared is a positive because negative times negative is positive. So this time it's negative 20. So 2 times negative 20 squared plus 3, negative 20, here's the calculator, don't forget that, a negative, plus 6, 746, awesome. All right, we're going to use a table to find the following values. We're still doing the same thing, we're finding a domain and range. Um, the only thing is this time they don't give us an equation. So for the first one, f of negative 3, this, again, is your x value. So I'm going to look on the table where I find negative 3 in the x column. It's right here. So now I'm looking over here in the f of x. That means y. Remember, f of x is just a fancy y. So the range for negative 3 is 48. Let's do another one. f of 0. Again, that's an x value. Go to my x column, find 0. Here it is. Pew. 6. Right, f of 4, so x is 4, my y is 6. Alright, the next one they're changing it up. This one's saying f of x equals 6. That means something different. That means y equals 6. So we got to go to our y column, find 6, but there's two of them. Here's one, and here's one. Remember, in functions, the y's can repeat, but the x's cannot. So there's two of them, two x values, 0 and 4. Okay, there's two of them. All right, then the next one, let's see what we got. This time, they're giving us y equals 0. So I find my y column, find 0. There it is. My domain value is 3. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff, the quadratic parent function. So the linear parent function was y equals x, or f of x equals x. That was pretty boring, pretty plain. So our quadratic parent function, remember quad, quad is 4, okay? So it's f of x equals, we still got to have an x. So quad means 4, so what shape has four sides? A square. So <laughs> x squared. Ah. All right, that's it. Super simple. F of x equals x squared. Not too scary. So here we're going to put in some domain values. We're going to evaluate for the y values, and that's going to help us identify a parent function when they don't tell us that it's a parent function. So if I, I like to put in 0 because it's easy. 0. So f of x equals 0 squared. Well, 0 times 0 is 0. Find that point. It's right here. See how it's on the 
parent function. All right, let's do another one. Um, one's pretty simple. One squared is one. So this point is one, one. Fantastic. All right. Let's do a two. Two squared is not two. Two squared is four. Two times two is four. So this point would be two, four. So I'm going to go over two, up four. There it is. All right. So those are our main key points that help us identify the parent function, but it, sometimes they get bigger. We can't see how this graph goes all the way up. It doesn't stop right here. It goes on forever. So if you need to know if, some, if a point is in the quadratic parent value, like 5, well, we can't see it because it goes too far up. But I can evaluate for it, 25. So this point would be 5, 25. All right, so our three key points that we look for all the time, especially on the star, is for the parent function, 0, 0, right here, 1, 1, it's always on, and 2, 4. Okay, so when you're trying to figure out which one's the parent function, it is always the ones that have these points. Okay? All right. For the next part, you need two colors. I used red and blue, and I went ahead and colored all of my parent functions red, and all of my transformations blue. So I suggest you pause the video and do the same. Seriously. Okay, so I know that this one is the quadratic parent function because it goes through 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 4. Okay, so the parent function the vertex is where our y values start changing direction. Okay, there's usually a pattern. So it's starting here. Oh, this is where it changes because it starts going back up. So this point is 0, 0. It's always the vertex. Now let's look at our transformation. Ding. This is where the, oh, there's where the y changes values. It's also 0, 0. They can share a vertex. That's fine. So let's take a look. Did this shift up, down, left, right, or none? Did it go this way, this way, this way, this way? No, it didn't. The vertexes are the same, the vertices. Steepness. Steeper means it gets skinnier or narrower, and less steep means it gets wider, or it can stay the same. Now let's take a look. This one has one, two. Nope. One, four. So that one got steeper okay it got skinnier a reflection did it flip is it going downwards now is it like a hill no so the way we would write this or the way you'd see it in a function is um i'm use a for a number it could be a f of x where the number is outside of it or it could be inside with the x and we label that with a b okay so these both change the steepness okay so steeper what i say it means skinnier or narrower all right let's look at number two Parent function, the parent function's vertex will always be zero, zero. This transformation, hmm, also zero, zero. Did it shift up, down, left, right, or nine? It did not shift up, down, left, right. So it has to be nine. Steepness, did it get steeper or less steep? So skinnier or wider? This one got wider. It opened up more. So that one's less steep. Did it flip across the axis? Is it a hill now? Nope. So this transformation actually is the same as these. Okay, it just depends on what number you have there for your A or your B variable. Or value.
All right. And less deep also means wider. All right, three and four. Now I know that your parent function vertex is zero, zero. So I can go ahead and write that for number three. I'm gonna write for number four too. You like Bob Ross, be a little crazy. All right, let's find the vertex of our transformation. This one's not at zero, zero. This one's at zero, negative two. So did it shift up, down, left, right, or none? This, that's a down. Steepness, now steepness, this is where kids get confused because they look at this and they're like, oh, well, it opens up more, so let's see. No, if, if I pretended that this was zero, that'd be zero, zero, this would be one, one, and this would be two, four, okay? So that actually changes just shift down more. So the steepness did not change. Is it a reflection? Is it a hill now? No. So this one, our. Okay, so this transformation would be f of x, and then since it's going down, this one's actually minus d. D is the last letter. If it was going up, it would be, well, we'll get there. All right, vertex. Here we go. We already did the parent function vertex. Now we're looking at our transformation vertex. This one's also not at zero. It's up here. This one's at zero, three. So we can tell that this one shifted up. The steepness did not change. I know because if I pretended this was zero, this would be one, one, and this would be two, four. So it still matches. So steepness did not change. It's not a reflection because it did not turn into a hill. All right. Now, since minus D made it go down, and remember the, the Ds are outside of the parentheses, this one is F of X plus D. Plus D makes it go up. Five, six, seven, and eight are on the next video.